Hi, I'm Lucy Williams, and this is how I live with style. It's obviously a real luxury to have a garden, especially in West London, so that was one of the biggest selling points to me of this house. We've got a dog, I love being outside. These flowers now, we ended up making like an aisle out of these at our wedding in Greece recently. And then we came home and they'd flowered here, so it was a really nice coincidence. Now it, they always remind me of that. As you can see from the outside of the house, my love of blue starts here. You're going to see it a lot as we go inside. When I told my builders that I wanted to paint every window, every window reveal in this pale blue, they definitely thought I was a bit crazy. It reminds me of Greek shutters. And yeah, I definitely like sort of pretending I'm on holiday even when I'm at home. And I think that's where I was going with this. Anyway, let's go inside and have a look at the house. So this is my kitchen. I went through loads of iterations of what colours to do the kitchen, but then it ended up all kind of tying together once I decided on the colour of the windows outside. And I love pale blue with this kind of dark brown or dark red colour. One thing I really didn't want with this house, I didn't want people to come in and feel like they couldn't sit in anything or had to take their shoes off. Like, I grew up on a farm, so it was dog hair and muddy boots and I yeah, should probably be more precious, but I'm not. <laughs> We've moved from a two-bedroom flat, and one of the things that I was really excited about was having a bigger table. And this picture I absolutely love. It's taken by a friend of mine, Louis Sheridan. I think it was in Argentina, Patagonia. It's become one of those things now that every time I see a piece of art that I like, I realise it has a horse in it, so having to slightly rein myself in, pun intended on that one, first of many horses. <laughs> I went through so many iterations with this kitchen because one thing I really wanted was somewhere soft to sit in here. I just always kind of dreamed of having a kitchen with a sofa or something. Um, I'm an out and proud telly addict. <laughs> So I think at one point I was thinking, you know, I'm not going to put a TV in, I'm going to be really chic. And then I was like, I'm going to have to put a TV in because what else am I going to do sitting here? You'll probably see that all the, the shelves have been softly plastered and for that kind of like Tadillac-esque look, but much cheaper to do. I am not the tidiest person, so I definitely needed to have lots of places where I could put things, but I also really wanted some shelves. It's all a bit mismatched, not too perfect. I don't really believe in having like matching dinnerware. I like it all just being a bit thrown together. I actually found these at a friend of mine, Letitia Rouget's exhibition a few years ago. It's very rare that me and my husband agree on things to go on the wall. So yeah, the fact that we agreed on them, we had to get them. <laughs> okay, that's enough with the kitchen. I could wish her on all day about all the different things here. Let's go through to the sitting room. So this room was my sort of indulgence room, if you will. I just wanted to have somewhere where I could have some really nice furniture, not think too practically. Um, I had kind of visions of having friends over, having a little cocktail from the bar, swanning around here before going for dinner down there. Realistically, tend to use it more just for reading the Sunday papers in the winter. I told you that I was quite into horses and I definitely wasn't lying. This is quite a new purchase. It's by an artist called Ben Craze. He's a Californian artist and his signature are these pink cowboy hats that he seems to put in every picture. This is by an artist called Alma Barrow. Always makes people do a second take, which I love about it. I don't know, I just love anything that's a little bit, um, a little bit tongue in cheek and she does it really, really well. This is probably the room where I spend the most amount of time. Not an accident that the dog matches the sofa. <laughs> so this is Finn. Finn is my five-year-old mutt from Cyprus. Clearly loves being on camera and loves being on the sofa. This is a maker and son sofa. And I just love this color with the blue. The daisies behind as well, I love these. They're by a photographer called Casey Moore. They stop it from feeling too twee. They just, yeah, just scream sort of summer to me. The thing that I actually love the most in this room and what I kind of first wanted to design in here was these bookshelves. And I always wanted to have the sliding doors 
to separate the two spaces. So then once you've closed them, I don't know, this feels even more cocoon-like. Oh, another horse. Told you it was a problem. So you probably saw that I do love colour in the house, but in this room, which is our bedroom, I wanted it to be quite calm, quite zen. So we went for this kind of very creamy, white, warm colours, just the odd pop of yellow still there. The thing that I get the most comments in when people first walk into this room is about how, how high the bed is. When I was finishing off the house, the amount of jokes that I had from the decorators, the builders, the upholsterers, um, about whether or not they needed to make me a ladder to get on the bed. It is very high, but it is very comfy. I literally had um, a stool at the end of the bed. I had to make it specially so that the dog could get on the bed. The one thing that I wanted was to have quite a sort of like impact headboard, but I wanted it to be by how wide it was. So we kind of took it to as wide as the bedside tables and just in this soft wave. I love anything that's a little bit wavy or soft lines. I like the fact that we don't have any art above it and it's just quite clean. The only piece of art we have in the whole room is a little framed menu from a restaurant called Ossip in Somerset. We went to it a year ago and it was just one of the best meals we'd ever had. And I quite like framing things that you wouldn't immediately think are worth framing um, and just making it into a bit more of a thing. I've got a menu downstairs that's, um, I had dinner in New York with a friend and a, her friend was the chef and she came and had dinner with us and doodled down the recipe of the pasta that we were eating. And I told her I'm gonna frame it, I'm gonna put it in my downstairs loo and she was like, okay, that's a bit weird. <laughs> And I did it, and then I got a bit cringed out because my friend sent it to her and she, I think she thinks I'm a crazy fan now, but I think it looks cool. Okay, so that is the bedroom. This kind of calm theme kind of carries on next door. So this used to be a bedroom. We turned it into a bathroom. We watched the whole of The Sopranos in lockdown. And when I was designing this house, I just couldn't help but be slightly inspired by the very beige 90s house in here. And while I love a roll top bath, I also really like having places to put it, hence why I did an inbuilt bath. And it was just a nice excuse to have a little bit more of this beautiful marble. Just noticed another horse as well. Um, okay, that is enough of my very me time space. Let's go up to the spare room. I got this from a car boot sale last Christmas. I actually bought it from Lucinda Chambers for, I think, £10 and then had it framed. And I love it. I love anything old quilted like that. And actually framing it, it now looks amazing. So this room always gets a big reaction. I think it's the wallpapering on the ceiling as well. People love staying over here. I love how the wallpaper kind of looks like a floral, but it's actually tiny shelves. Yeah, super pretty. I didn't want this room to feel too cutesy and cottagey, so I think things like a bit of cast iron, the cushion, the iron lamp above the bed, it kind of stops it from feeling too pretty. Um, and then this chair as well, this came from our old flat. I found this in the market for about 50 quid and it had this sort of like saggy old velvet hammock seat in it and had it completely redone. Yeah, it feels really kind of contemporary. One of the first things I actually bought for the house, this dresser, bought it through like an Instagram antiques dealer. I think I bought it for about, about a year before we actually moved in, so I had to store it for ages. But when it finally got a home, it was kind of nice. It was like that full circle moment when the whole house was finished. I knew I wanted to use yellow and checkerboard somewhere, and the little spare bathroom was the perfect place to do it. And I love the little rope mirror in there and the sauna lights. The lights are actually on upside down, but it kind of works. So a happy accident there. Right, I have got friends coming around for dinner and I have no idea what I'm making, so I've got to go. This one needs to come for a walk. Um, thank you so much for coming around my house with me. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Time Style YouTube channel and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.